take some of the noise that you may get in some of your uh, audio and how to get rid of some of it without being overly crazy. Now, I'll send this full file out with it so you can sort of see what I'm talking about, but I'm just going to describe it. Now, this is with Adobe Audition 2020, um, but I think this also works well in Adobe Audition 3.0, which are on all the studios at the station. And I'm sure there's probably some sort of noise um, you can get rid of or some sort of noise plug-in that you can get for any other program as well. Uh, the main thing to remember is that when you're doing these noise or reduction kind of things, if you use too much of it, it makes the audio not as good. So the first thing you're going to want to do is any audio file that you're recording, save it first as a wave. So when you do those audio uh, audition, when you do those audio alterations, uh, it doesn't make the audio poor quality because if you don't save it as a wave, and we're going to go ahead and change this to 44.1 because that's the way I do everything, and I'm going to change it to 16 bits, and you do that right there with the sample type, and this is going to save this as a wave at the, the same place where I'm going to keep everything else. So I've got all my other stuff here in my audition folder, so I'm just going to save it right there so I'll be able to see it. Save it there. Perfect. All right, and so this is going to be um, Southern Miss Today Wrap. This is going to intro all the routes this week that I've got, so I'll give everybody a little bit of a different thing. Any going going? So let me go ahead and save that as a wave because I don't want to edit something as an M4A or an MP3 because the quality is going to be worse. So anyway, I've got a little bit of noise, and uh, I'm, I'm sure some sort of electromagnetic thing. Maybe we'll be able to tell what it is. Let's take a listen and see. Hey, I'm Ian Willie Green for Southern Miss Today News. All right, you see this little bit here in the middle. You may not be able to hear it. Hopefully you can. I'm going to highlight it, and I'll send you this whole file so you can take a look at it unedited as well. There's a little bit of wee, like a little electronic-type noise in there. So what you can do, now this is with Adobe Audition 2020, like I mentioned, but you should be able to do this with Pro Tools or Audacity or whatever DAW that you've got. If you can't do it this way, I'll show you how to EQ in just a second. Uh, but what you can do is uh, first double-click or you know, right click if you're on uh, Windows. And what we're gonna do is we're going to capture the noise print from that audio. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Thank you. So I've uh, uh, highlighted that. This is the... And this noise print is what's going to be captured. So I'm going to uh, zoom this back all the way. So I'm going to zoom all the way out and see everything. Zoom out full, there we go. And I want to double click and highlight the whole thing because that noise print we want to take out of the whole file. We don't want to just take out that little bit. So double click, right, to highlight the whole deal. Go under effects, noise reduction re restoration. Now nah, we've already done that. So noise reduction process when I hit that, right? And when I open it, what I just captured is going to be shown right here. That is the noise print that I just captured. Now, I've already selected the entire file, so you don't have to do that. But what I want to do is take a listen. Hey, I'm Ian Willie Green for Southern Miss Today News. This is That's pretty good. It does. It takes a lot of it. So you've got about 50% reduced here, reduced by 16 dB, which uh, it's going to show you the amount of dB. You don't have to know what that means, but you can certainly go further and do a little research and find out what that means. I'm not going to go into it right now. So anyway, I've got my noise print captured already. That's what shows up here. I've already selected the entire file. It sounds okay. It's not making it that kind of watery sound and it's not going to affect it because it's a wave. So I'm going to go ahead and apply it uh, because I just listened to it, right? So I'm going to go ahead and apply it to the whole file. Bam. And that's going to see, and I'm going to highlight this right here, go back to where the original noise was. Gone. All gone. Yay. All right. So that's that. Um, I'm going to do a little bit more of these. We're going to talk about some noise reduction. I'm going to talk about best practices for audio levels for all you engineer people, as well as reporters and, and that sort of thing. Just some knowledge that you're going to need. Uh, we're going to talk about what compression is and different things like that. That's this for right now. So there's your audio noise reduction. Oh, you know what? Let me do this. Let me go back. I'm going to undo that. And uh, we're going to... Uh, do this with an EQ rather than 
the audio selection. So let's go back here and zoom into this little part. And I'm going to highlight this once again. Let's get that little V up at the top. So if you don't have a uh, noise reduction program type of thing, you can do this with EQ as well. And I like the FFT filter, but you can use this no matter what, with whatever you're using. So my FFT filter, this is just going to give me a look at the entire range. So I've got like from 0 hertz to 20k up here. Your human voice is really going to only be from about 80 to 100, maybe a little bit above, up to about 6 or 7. So that high zinging up there, that's going to be way all these frequencies up here. Now you can spline the curves like that, it's where it rolls off, or you can do it more drastically like that, and I'm going to prefer it like that. In fact, I'm just going to take and kind of do a little brick wall right there. I'm going to drop this down to about 100, so any mic rumble, any like wind noise or anything like that, that's going to be all these frequencies down here. But So I've got this highlighted, let's listen. This is the second week of... That pretty much has, and let's see, let me go back here to where that is, and let's listen to that real quick. That's taking a lot of it out. Let's let's do this. I do even take a little bit more, a little bit more drastic with it. So that's about 4K. Let me back my uh, back my pointer up here to the beginning of that. Let's listen. All right. Well, that's better. That's not that's not it's not terrible. And let's listen to it on the other voice. I bet it's going to be okay. This is the second week of the extended yeah, spring well, break that's 2020 for USM. That's not great. Let me put this back and see if this is going to make it any, any better. So, so. 2020 for USM. Everyone received an extra... Okay, that's okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and zoom out on both levels. Let me highlight the whole thing and let me apply this curve to the entire file. Let's see what that's going to look like. 5696 six, or 6... Still has that in there, but, you know, it might be a little bit better. I'm going to undo undo all my filter and get it all back but what I am going to do is I'm going to um, I'm going to go back and I'm going to get this noise profile again so let me zoom into this right here highlight what I want the noise profile from capture noise print great zoom out both highlight the whole thing you get up to effects here noise reduction restoration it's going to be the process when I open it that's what I just captured right there selected everything. Hey, I'm Ian Willie Green for Southern Miss Today News. This is the second week. That's pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and apply that again. And there it is. Once again, I saved it as a wave. SMT wrap number one. So let me go ahead and hit save again so I can save my new um, noise reductive file. <laughs> noise reduced file. There we go.